So we did a uh, steampunk theme for our dining room. Actually, I ended up building this chandelier from scratch, which was a, which was a fun project as well. Um, but this project here was um, also fun. I basically uh, got some gears from Etsy from Bitterroot Design that my girl had found online. Um, and they were a pleasure to work with. I told them what I wanted to do, and I told them that I liked this wall art uh, that they had for sale and asked them if they could you know, help me customize it a little bit. And they basically uh, gave me some... Uh, they, they recommended you know doing a, a pulley on here, so they actually made me two pulleys. Um, originally, the idea was this pulley would activate going this direction when the door closed, and then there would be another pulley here with a counterweight that would uh, make it rotate this way when the door opened. But I managed to get away with just doing one pulley... Um, when I finally finished doing the design. Now, let me go ahead and show you really quickly. So I'm gonna open the door. You can see the pulley system there. So it works very nicely. Now, when you order it, it this is just gonna be plain, uh, plain wood. Um, I basically spray painted this, um, primered everything black first before uh, painting it with the metallic finish. If you don't do that, then it's going to look very dull and drab. Um, I made the mistake of accidentally painting one of the gears without primering it first, and it was a huge difference. Um, so make sure you primer everything black before you um, before you paint it. And also, you want to make sure you test fit everything and make sure everything turns the way you want to before you uh, before you glue everything together. So, but let me go ahead. I do have the uh, the the pulley that I did not use. So I can show you what it's going to look like when it shows up. Oh yeah, actually I forgot. Uh, they actually sent me an extra pulley as well. So here's the extra pulley labeled so. And the pulley you did not use. So you can see it says P4 on there. All the gears, the pulleys, the rods, and uh, the caps will have um, numbers on them so that you can match all the pieces up. So this is actually a, a cap that I did not use because they gave me an extra one. And uh, I have an extra washer as well. So definitely a pleasure dealing with them. I highly recommend uh, if you want to get some gears, they are they are uh, wonderful to work with. Um, and, and this is what I ended up using to mount it to the wall. Um, I only have half inch thick drywall and I was worried about the, uh, the pulleys or the gears themselves ripping um, out from the wall. So I used these strap toggles. Um, I've actually used this in the bathroom when someone accidentally ripped out the towel rack. Uh, and uh, I, I fixed it with this, and it actually holds the towel rack in place better than before. And then uh, I've got some shelves in my bedroom that were supporting too much weight, and they were starting to pull the brackets out, but as soon as I installed that, uh, that fixed that problem. All right, so let's take a closer look at the gears themselves here. So they look pretty nice. Uh, as you can see, there's three gears on the one piece here, and then three on the other. And I've drilled a hole and mounted it there 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 and there now i also um enlarged the very top part of the hole so that i could sink the head of the screw in so that it's flush and that way it doesn't hit any of the gears that travel over it and it has zero play i mean it's not moving anywhere from the wall here Alright, so now let's look at the other pulleys that I have. So you can't see the, the toggle straps because they're hidden behind this this uh, washer. Um, this is just a threaded um, eyelet that I had to take a hacksaw and cut uh, the piece off of here so I had an opening to slide a pulley over. The pulley I got from the flea market, they probably have them at the hardware store. Um, so I got two of them on this side uh, and then I have another one up here this is just this is a screw in eyelet i got one that's long so that i had plenty of secure anchorage into the wood uh, and then what i have on top of the door is a uh, flat bar aluminum um, i use this stuff for a lot of projects it's very handy so it's got two screws holding it into the door and then you can see i have the eyelets here that i mounted in and then uh, these are eight pound springs that I got from the hardware and door section. Uh, the reason I have the springs on here, which are, they're actually kind of, they're actually loaded right now, is that when the door gets to about here, there's there's a, too much slack um, that the paracord slips around the gear here, even though it's wrapped around twice. And then the gears sometimes don't turn. But with the springs in place, 
the absorb the extra slack and as you can see there's no problem with the gears turning all right so uh yeah if you were looking to do something for your uh, steampunk room and wanted some functional art i've got the link for the uh, etsy store in the video description below um this is my setup i'm you know, I'm hoping that you don't duplicate it exactly and yeah you know, maybe you can find a better way to do it or a different way to do it and if you do i'd love to see it but uh you know, if you can't figure out any other way this way definitely works well and like i said i needed a way to make sure the door stays open so as soon as i open the door there it's not moving anywhere unless i actually press on it all right great thank you for watching